How's that been holding up? She po is she like she kind of like throws her hands up and like like spins around. She goes, "The ends in one piece, ain't it?" Yeah, I mean, all things considered, despite a few broken windows and you not sleeping the entire night, I would assume. Um, she she shrugs. She goes, "I uh, as as a uh, as a person that has been personally blessed by the uh, by the storm elemental himself." I don't need... I can go multiple days without sleep and only feel a little bit exhausted. I'm on day four. Is there, uh, have any fate ever broken in? She shrugs. She goes, you know, the thing is... The thing is, the thing is... Uh, I'm very diligent about putting my salt up. If you look, and she walks up and she, like, shows the cracked windows. And mm -hmm. she, like... She, like... Uh, here, she'll walk up here. And she'll like put her finger across the like across like the windowsill, and she'll hold up salt. She'll go, "I salt every single window, I salt every single doorway." She goes, "I just have this weird like sense about it." Hmm. Well, I respect that. Uh, I respect your. Uh, I respect your hard work and willingness to protect uh, the inn and its patrons. You are. Okay. Uh, as as you hear this conversation, you hear a weird like cooing and snoring. From where? From the kitchen. Okay. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Uh, Albert walks into the kitchen. Uh, you see a cark huddled in what seems to be a nest in the corner, asleep. I was like, so he kind of looks. He's like, oh. and he's kind of looks like oh, and he's just like just tries to be quiet. He tries to tip, and he's like, he just tiptoes out of the kitchen. Uh, I want to roll, uh, I would like to roll stealth to see if I wake him up. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Uh, am I disadvantaged? Hang on. I am. Hang on. So I I'm interested to see, I'm interested to see if you're going to wake up the cook. <laughs> Nine. Um, let me, let me do a quick, let me do a quick roll. Okay. Uh yeah. No, you're you're fine. You wake up and Kark does not Kark does not wake up. Kark mm. was like like you just hear like and then it go and then he like like stumbles a little bit and goes back to sleep. Okay. It's like he's just like I'm just I'm just not gonna he's kinda of like just puts his hands like we're not just we're just not gonna go in there right now. Uh you you Gamilla doesn't even notice. Gamilla kinda just looks at you. Or looks at is like fingering like the windows where the cracks are, and she just like does a loud sigh. Glass is super expensive. Mm. She looks back and she calls out. She goes, "Hey, alchemist girl!" Almost like she's like screaming across the way. Oh, you mean Adeline? Hmm. She goes, "Yeah, you, Adeline, get over here." Adeline was gonna say something to dwarf and looks over like. You can okay. we could do we could do the start of like your conversation with the dwarf first. And that's where we'll hold uh we'll hold uh Albrecht's and Gamilla's conversation. How's that sound? Yeah. Okay. So we'll move to uh we'll move to Adeline's turn. She would come in and see the the group sitting there and then she'd kind of go over and oh, what's what's the one to the left of the dwarf's name? Uh that is uh that is Jora. Um, she be like, "Thank you for your assistance out there with the Panthers." He nods. He goes. He goes. What? What type of mentor would I be if I let the Junior Adventurer Squad die to some uh, Fey Panthers? It's not worth it. Don't want to see you guys get hurt. I don't think we would have died. We would have been hurt. Uh, as <laughs> as he uh, as he's talking to you. He goes, hold on one second. Um, and uh, Ugath is trying to lift his cup. And as he puts it to his mouth, you see Jora kind of like snap his fingers. And the cup just slams down onto the table. And he gets a good laugh. Ugath kind of glares. He goes, gravity mages. Ugh. Oh, sorry. He would be like, gravity mages. Am I right? And Ugaf gets up. Sorry, go ahead. 
And then looks at Momo and is like, and it does the same thing she did outside, boys. Uh, <laughs> Ugath gets up, goes upstairs, almost like he's going to clean himself off. Uh, Jura goes, now that he's gone, he points to the two open seats, beckoning you guys to sit. She goes to motions for a moment to take a seat, and she goes to sit. That's, she's very hesitant. She doesn't want to, like, in, in force her, like, uh... She feels she feels responsible and it's still mentally, but she knows it wasn't really her. She but still she's like doesn't want to cause any issues with uh, with Ellie, but she'll uh, very sheepishly take a seat next to Ellie. Um, as you sit next to Ellie, Ellie seems to not respond to like you being there. You're gonna have to do the in between stuff to make it sit. Yeah, there, ha, there it is. I had to remember which key it was. It shift. Perfect. Yeah. So you uh, you're sitting around the table. And uh, Ellie seems to be, like, non-responsive. Uh, Jorah kind of, like, looks at, uh, like, does, like, a half-smile at Ellie and puts his hand on hers and says, Don't worry, we're going to find Vic and we'll get this all settled. Um, so, okay, sorry. So go, go ahead, Adeline. She would just look over at the dwarf. I forgot her name already. She she didn't introduce herself yet. Oh. Do you actually speak the tongue? And uh, Norman. She nods and she goes, huh, what? Uh, she like looks at you and she goes, what's an elf like you in, in Dwarvish? She says something along the lines of like, um, along the lines of like, what's an elf like you speak in our tongue? One of my fathers taught it to me. Uh, she, uh, she s switches to common and basically says along the lines of the folks around here call it the old language. None of the half dwarves here know it. Know it. It's good to see someone keep the traditions alive. Uh, she's going to say, I'm, I'm not from here. So it's, it's alive where I am. She nods. She goes, she goes, as someone that didn't come from here myself, I completely get it. Uh, she says, and uh, she says, and she turns to Dwarvish, as she says to you, "Don't listen to these people. The half of the half dwarves are a little bit strange around here." She nods, uh, and then yeah, go ahead. Then uh, then I, she could head over to fix the window. Uh, before before that happens, uh, the dwarf will introduce herself in common. She goes, "The name's Stella. I was the uh, I was the adventurer that introduced these two here to this land." And she points to uh, Ellie and Jura. My name's Adeline. She goes, "Huh? Sounds pretty dwarvish to me." Adeline Korhad. She nods. She goes, a nice name for a nice gal. And then in that moment, that's when uh, Gamilla will do the call out for Adeline. She would gently excuse herself and give Momo a gentle, like, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, because as, as Adeline goes, she's just <laughs> going to follow with the eyes, just like... Don't leave me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. I didn't realize how... Okay, as a DM, I didn't realize how awkward of a situation I was about to put you in, Omega. Thank you. It's all good. All Omega now. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. So I will... I will... Uh, in that downtime, what would uh, what would Shazafraz like to do? Where is Shazafraz anyway? Right <laughs> by the stairs. I walked I in and just went up the stairs. You went straight okay. up the stairs? Straight up the stairs. Alrighty, okay. I'm going to load Bye, in the, the upper floor oh. map. 
Oh, we can. If you want to stay on the map, we can just stay here. No, 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 no. no. I can. I can move you to the map. Oh. Um. Activate. I wonder if this is gonna cause. Is it gonna fuck up with everybody else? Yep. Uh, I'm going to. Does it? Well, you guys could double click. Well, I guess it'll. So if you guys want to move to the smaller floor, I don't know if you guys can click the top. Uh, oh, what did you guys could click yeah, the top and stay in the village? Yeah, you. Yeah, you okay, double click yeah. it. Yep. Uh, yeah, I can So hit back. Okay, I need cool. to. Uh, Mr. Uh, Shazafraz, I need to make you a token here. So one second, please. It's been a little while since I've done this. So, um, Mr. Shazafraz walks up the stairs. Why can't it's, so it? it's so dark. It's so dark. Hold on. I think it's because I messed up the map. <laughs> it's so dark. Uh, do, do, do. One sec. Uh, permissions. Lighting. Token vision. Fog exploration. Token vision. Bam. Good morning, good morning. You walk up the stairs. Ah, it's so bright. <laughs> As you walk up the stairs, uh, you see someone that's a bit a bit shorter than you, just kind of hanging out by the stairs, like, using, like, a dagger to clean out his nails, his fingernails. He looks to be... You're, are you short? I don't remember your height. 3'2". You sh- you're, how, how tall are you? Three, two. Okay, so you're you're tall for, or I guess you're the average height for a goblin. Slightly taller. I'm well built. Okay, so as as you walk in, you see someone that seems to be a, a tiny bit taller than Neem. Mm. That also seems to be a gnome hanging against mm. the corner, picking his nails. Mm. I say, uh, uh, pointy people. You see small blue-haired anime protagonist. He uh he looks at you and he and he just like deadpan looks you in the eye and he goes, What's this look like? And he say guy <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, God. <laughs> the fact that it's now canon because the DM has acknowledged it. <laughs> no heard that story before. But little girl, small blue with squirrel, you see her. He nods, he goes, Yeah, I saw her. She was around here looking up some stuff early. <laughs> Sorry, chart in chat just says, and then the opening credits roll. <laughs> um, he looks at uh, he looks at you and he goes, "I saw her. She was up here earlier playing with a squirrel. She's not up here anymore. She went around to go wander with that cat fella." Ooh. We're gonna have to have a filler arc that is uh, <laughs> that is going to be that's gonna be. Slibs, uh, Slibs and Neem's excellent adventure. Please. <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe we'll do it. Uh, maybe we'll do it off. Uh, uh, maybe we'll like start stream early or something like that, and we'll do it. Mm-hmm. He goes. So what's your name, stranger? Uh, Shazafras. Thanks for nothing. Bye. And I start like peeking into the rooms looking for stuff. Uh okay. Uh as he goes. Which which room do you check out first? Uh, the this one right in front of me. Uh, you try to go look into that room, mm-hmm. and uh, as you look into that room, the door is locked. Okay, I'll look at the one behind me. Uh, the 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 the, <laughs> the label on the door. Uh, you can read common, right? Yeah. Okay, it says Gamilla on it. Uh, I walk to this one. Um, you, uh, you jiggle the door. It's not locked, but, and mm. you can peek in. Okay. Do I see, like, Neem's stuff? Uh, no, you don't see Neem's stuff, but you see five beds. It almost looks like mm. it's empty, and it's not being used yet. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, what's the one closest to the window? Uh, so there's, if I remember correctly... There is a window here, and then I think there's a window here and here. Nice. I take uh, this one, mm-hmm. and I drop my stuff on the bed, like my pack. Yeah. And then I want to crawl out the window onto the roof. <laughs> okay. Uh, so so the, the window doesn't open normally, so you're going to have to do some sort of like... Find, uh, find me a check to try to open the window. A huge pain in the butt. Yeah. Uh, hmm. 
I, I think about how much is it would it be worth it just to pay for the window? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, were you paying attention? Wait, you weren't around for any of Camilla's conversation downstairs, right? No, I just went straight upstairs. Okay. Um, like, I, you, can I you, investigate it? I'm looking yeah, for yeah, a I lock was about to, to say, open you, it. You may want to investigate it. All right, let's do it. How about okay. a 12? So you see, you. I'm going to... You're a smart goblin, right? Mm -hmm. I am. You, you, you're a very right. smart goblin. The smartest in my village. You know that, that there's some sort of magical protection on the walls. Mm. And you think that it might it might go towards the windows. But you also mm -hmm. notice that there's a lock on the window as well. Yes. Can I open the lock? Uh, you could sure as heck try. How, how, how would I do that? So, uh, so it's like it almost seems like, you know, something that, like, a key would go in to turn, right, mm -hmm. on it. So, uh, I'll give you two I... options for it. If, uh -huh. if you don't if you don't want to experiment and find out, I'll give you two uh, ways to go about it. I'll take out my dagger, and I'll jam it in the hole, and I'll twist it to try to open it. That's a perfect choice. Uh, I think that would be, like, finesse, so, like, I guess Slide give me... Get, what would you like to try for it? Justify it for me. Uh, sleight of hand. It's a dexterous activity. Yep. Heck yeah. Sleight of hand. Let's do it. How about a 19? 19? You know what? You're going to open that freaking window. Do it. Not normally something that you'd expect to happen. But uh, mm. you're I like, I look at my dagger and I think, I think, ooh, I heard of the skeleton key. I got stabby one. Nice. <laughs> you got... Turn in skeleton mini time. Heck yeah. Uh, you open the window. Mm-hmm. Um, like can I crawl up onto the roof? Yeah, just give me, like, uh, give me an athletics check or something that's, that's, like, yeah, give me, give me, like, an athletics uh, check. Uh, athletics, I like it. Uh, actually, let's check your character sheet. Yeah, that How about works. a 14? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do it. You're not, like, stealthful about it. Nope. But you could, do actually, uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, you get, you get onto the roof. So we're gonna go back to the, the small village because that's what you'll mm. be able to see. Mm. Mm hmm. How's that sound? Oh, I we don't have to move it around. Uh, I uh, I just want to lay up on the roof. Okay. And uh, enjoy the rays and the warm sun as I take a morning nap. Okay. Yeah, you you. I want to I want to spend my morning on the roof. Yeah. I don't think uh, I don't think anybody anybody really like notices anything different or like even like no one's expecting to see anything on the roof by the woods. Mm -hmm. Um, do an investigation check for me though. Do you hmm. want to or or like perception check or something? You're gonna look out into the distance for me. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do we'll do perception with a minus one. How Nineteen. Nitrile twenty. Okay. 20. Your goblin eyes do not fool you. In the Oof. distance. In the distance. You know hmm. where the lightning came down? Remember how you saw mm -hmm. that hobgoblin earlier? Yeah, the pile of ash. Yeah, that pile of ash that you see? There seems to be a group of goblins way out in the distance. Mm -hmm. Gathering together. Mm. Getting an army together, and ha and they mm. have what looks like to be a warband on the horizon. Mm. Mm. How far away are they? Uh, I would say about a three-day journey. Wow. With all of them They're together. Really, that's a lot. Yeah. Well, understand that, like, uh, you get to see, like, super far because you're, like, you know, on top yeah. of the inn. Except on top center. of a hill. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you pick up what I'm putting down. That's a problem for... Tomorrow, Shazafraz, and I close my eyes and try to get sleep. Sounds good to me. Uh, alrighty, we're gonna go back to the first floor. Um, furiously, if it if it freaks out on you, understand that it's because no, I took fine. away your token because you're on the second floor. Oh, okay. Can you still see? Yep, it's fine. Okay, sweet. So, uh, let's get back to the curious case of Momo's awkward conversations. Yeah, let's totally do that. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so, uh, 
the last thing that was said was Jorah was holding onto Ellie's hand and being like, we'll find Vic and we'll fix this. Yeah. <laughs> and then poor Anlin walked off and Momo just followed her with her eyes. Just like, yeah, so yeah. fearful. Um, so um, Momo's not one to, to be uh, upset about awkward silences. Uh, if it means that like, it's not, you know, her awkward silence, but this is a firmly her awkward silence thing. Right. Uh, so she is uh, going to softly say that uh, she was hoping to to get to talk to, to Ugath uh, simply because he too was chosen um, to receive a, a gift from the Fae. Um, but she, you know, didn't get to. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, Shora kind of just looks at Momo and goes, you know what the cool thing about gravity powers is? Yeah. You just see him, like, put his hand up and, like, clench down. And you just hear a thunk. And okay. then a bunch of swearing. What? <laughs> oh, no, the, her eyes just so wide. She's absolute shocked Pikachu face. Jorah um, just opens his hands again, and you hear like thump, 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 <laughs> and uh, oh no, Ogath comes down, and he goes, well. "Let's let's sin here, you dirty mage. Just because you have a hammer doesn't mean I won't hit you with my own weapons." Ajora goes, look, Ogath, I got I had to get your attention somehow. This lady here wants to talk to you. Man. He looks at, he looks at, uh, at Jorah and goes, listen here. You could have just sent someone up to get me. You know where my room is. Jorah just kind of shrugs and goes, this way was faster. And he kind of just turns to Momo. Max. And goes, Man. What? The, the, <laughs> the pure chaos. Tora, please. Uh, as she turns and. and Wait, hold on, uh, hold on. Did you say that out loud? Uh, I mean, she would probably say it under her breath in honesty. She's just. Okay, oh, okay. Man. That's fine, that's fine. Because <laughs> if you said that out loud, oh boy, howdy. Oh boy, howdy! Oh, uh, no, but she she will say that uh, she, uh, she did <laughs> she didn't expect uh, that. Uh, so she she'll turn and and say to uh, to Ogeth, um, that she just uh, has some uh, things that she would like to get sorted out as far as uh, what happened at the festival and the uh, the Fey choosing them uh ogath just goes goes listen here S what's your name again uh she'll softly so so skittishly say momo listen here momo i made a deal with the fae okay that's between me and them 